everyone, it's Amy, and today, welcome to the one year anniversary week. So, for today's video, I am starting a new series called I Bought an Air Fryer. So, as you can see, I bought an air fryer. I most definitely haven't used it, and I'm very excited for it, and I'm, I can do so many things. I can bake in it, I can make candy things, as you will see later in the video. So, today I decided I'm going to make some candied bacon. So if you don't know what that is, it's just bacon and it has like a little like sweetness to it and it's very crunchy and it's pretty good. So I'm gonna make that in here so it's gonna take not that much time because it's in an air fryer and I have the ingredients over there. So let's get started. So recipes came with the air fryer. So there's this one for like crispy goodness and um, wait, let me just flip to it. So I had the wrong book. Um, it's actually a dehydration book. And here it is, candied bacon. I'm not sure if you can read that. And it serves four, so I hope it's good enough. You're gonna need one pound of thick bacon. I have regular bacon. I'm so sorry to all you vegans or vegetarians. Look away, but I have uh, normal bacon. So you can use whichever bacon you want. Uh, dark brown sugar, so here it is. A fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper and then two tablespoons of maple syrup which I don't have, I have butter flavored syrup. So we love America. Lay the bacon strips onto the airflow rack and trim as needed. So uh, let me get that real quick. So this is the airflow rack and basically I think this just goes, up. I have so many things going on. Here it is and I have bacon. So I don't know how much bacon I'm gonna wanna use. I'll do four, that sounds like a reasonable number and they're pretty thick and pretty long. There we go, now we have four bacon. Ew, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, we have our bacon. I'm gonna put this to the side and this to the side too. And now we are going. Okay, so I have the book right in front of me. So now sprinkle the brown sugar, cayenne pepper, over bacon and rub into it. And I'm not sure how important it is to break up the chunks of the uh, brown sugar because they're not pretty broken up. I regret my decision of having bangs. I feel like it's the worst decision I've ever made. And now we use the cayenne pepper, which is a fourth teaspoon, and plop it down in there. And I'm breaking like the little rocks of brown sugar so that it's not like one really thick brown sugar part because we don't want that. So now I'm going to grab this rack and now we sprinkle, I guess, over top um, like this and then rub. This looks pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna do this and I'll get back to you guys because this might take a little while. Okay, so now that I look like Mr. Sandman with a lot of brown sugar in my hands, um, now I'm gonna flip them over. No, wait, I'm gonna do the, the maple syrup because I feel like that's kind of important. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. My hypothesis is that I'm probably gonna put some water in it because it's maple syrup's very thick. So I think that it might not reach the amount it's supposed to. So I'm gonna put a little water. If you're wondering how much water I put, I put like a tablespoon. I should probably have done like a little less than a tablespoon but I feel like it's too watery. So maybe do just like half a tablespoon maybe. And I'm just gonna do the other side real quick and I'll get back to you because I feel like nobody wants to see me sit in silence and do this. Okay, so I didn't get enough of the maple syrup, so I'm gonna put a little more here. Okay, so I finished all of this. My hands are now a brown color. Great, wonderful. So now I'm gonna wash my hands, grab the air fryer, and show you how it's done. So I checked if it was okay for this to be on the wooden table, and it didn't say anything, so if the wooden table burns down, then it's not my fault. Um, basically, you open it. Ooh, it turned on. Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. That's not, that's not supposed to be in there. And now, we put this in. I hope it fits. Let's put it in. There we go, okay. So now we move this, and now let the magic begin. So close this up, and 
And now it says, press the power button, and then the shrimp button. So it's this one, can you see that? It's this one. And then it's 12 minutes for 320 degrees. Oh, and that was it. And then it says serve on a charcuterie board. And I don't have that, so I'm just gonna eat it off a plate. Now we wait 12 minutes till this works. Okay, so they just finished, so I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna put them right here. Okay, I'm scared. <gasps> okay, they look like they haven't cooked at all. That's a lot of like maple syrup and grease and stuff that's been on there. And I didn't put this in correctly, so they, it's all been going on one side. There we go, evenly distributed. I'm going to flip these and try not to grab a thingy. I hope these turn out well. These look very not cooked. So they cooked for 12 minutes and then you flip them over and then put them back in for another 12 minutes. So this one, I've actually tested before and I have been proven that it works. I'm gonna move my air fryer over to the kitchen because I don't feel safe that it's on a wooden table. It's been here for 12 minutes and I feel like it's already getting a little hot and I'm scared. Better to be safe than sorry. So I'm going to go to the kitchen and put it over there. Hi, so you usually never see this side of the kitchen, but now you do. So I'm just gonna put these in. Ah, it's hot. I'm gonna put these in carefully. Carefully. There we go. And now, shrimp for another 12 minutes. So, See you in another 12 minutes. Make way, make way. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, wait. Safety, first I had to turn off the air fryer because I could have burnt myself. But anyways, look at that. Look at, is it hot? It's kind of hot, but it's fine. Look at that. It cooked. Like I've done this before, not gonna lie to you, I have, but like, it's never happened to me before where it's like not kind of cooked at the beginning. So I was like, oh no, don't tell me I messed it up. Of course, when I'm filming, I mess it up, but I didn't, it worked. So now I'm gonna pat it dry. I put, I got a lot of paper. I'll probably put some back. And then I'm gonna flip it over. I grabbed some tong tongs. And uh, now we are going to peel this off this with a lot of delicacy without it ripping. Now this has never happened to me before, where it gets stuck. I'm gonna, what if I grab like a little spatula? Okay, so I grab a little like scooper. There we go. There we go, that's one. There we go, that's three. And now this is very dirty. This is gonna be the hardest part to clean, but that's fine. Look at that. Look how delicious that looks. I'm okay dying like this. This is probably the best way to die because it looks amazing. So now I'm gonna do the taste test because I'm very impatient. My taste buds are rocketing. I'm, they're soaring. So. I think if you even had a pan, it would taste like this but it wouldn't be the same. But if you don't have an air fryer, you can definitely do this on the pan, I think. I, it might work the same. But if you have an air fryer, I strongly recommend this. Like, it's so good. Duh. This video was just an excuse for me to make these because I love these. Like, it's so good for no reason. Actually, there is a reason. I love bacon. I'm very sad this video is about to end, but I'm very happy that I got to share with you my favorite thing, which is now candied bacon, because it's so amazing. I could try it with uh, like a vegetarian vegan option, but I, I'm sorry, but this is this is 10 out of 10, I love this. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I am not forcing you to do anything, but I would very much truly appreciate it if you did, because I just shared with you one of my my favorite foods, but I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm not, I'm not forcing you to do anything. And I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.